Welcome everyone to my research microtalk presentation. My name is Afra Kerala from Rhodes University. My research is titled as Probing the Structural Dynamics of the Malaria Parasite Plasmodium falciparum GTP cyclohydrolase 1 to reveal potential allosteric drug targeting sites. As we all know, we are witnessing a fourth industrial revolution that entails advances in the computing power, artificial intelligence and quantum computing, all of which has shown to alter and progress the way we conduct our current research. In this regard, my research is focused on the application of HPC to discover novel antimalarial drugs and drug targets. As we know, malaria remains a public health problem and a high burden of a disease, especially in developing countries. According to the World Health Organization Malaria Report of the year 2020, majority of the malaria cases were reported in the African region, making Africa endemic to the disease. Furthermore, the current anti-malaria drugs are losing their efficacy due to the drug resistance problem and therefore establishing an urgent need to discover new anti-malarial drugs and drug targets. To your right here, you see the female anophilus mosquito that inoculate or transmit the parasite into the host blood system during its blood meal. The study is focused on targeting the parasite for late biosynthesis pathway, a pathway that is important for the DNA synthesis in the parasite. More specifically, the first and initiating enzyme of this pathway, the GTP cyclohydrolase. To your right, you see the 3D structure of the enzyme, which is a homodecamer that is composed by the association of two pentameric identical units. The study aimed to investigate the global structural dynamics and cooperative motion of this enzyme to disclose allosteric targeting sites. We used the normal mode analysis approach, which is a mathematical approach that models the protein as the atoms as a set of nodes connected by springs obey, that are obeying Hooke's law of physics. Now you see here the normal modes that are accessible for a water molecule just for demonstration. And you can see they are bending and stretching motions. The normal mode analysis then is composed by the construction of a matrix that shows the displacement of each atom relative to others within a defined cutoffs, which is 15 here in this 15 angstrom in the study. Mode task web uh, software tool was used that contains a set of Python scripts um, and were run on the HPC. Now, the matrix that is produced by, from the calculations, the three by N matrix, also called the Haitian matrix, is then decomposed into an eigenvalues and eigenvectors. The three N matrix is a total of 5,538 set of equations. And therefore, we needed the resources at the HPC to handle such heavy calculations. The resources that were used I hi are highlighted here in the yellow box, and we were able to obtain key motions that are related to this enzyme, including a breathing motion and a twisting motion that involves the narrowing of its central cavity. The study also highlighted the importance of the N-terminus in regulating the structural dynamics of the enzyme further supported by the mechanical stiffness analysis showing the rigidity of the protein core and the high mobility of its terminus. For more details on uh, behind the methods or the results, the data is published online and the use of CSPC resources were well acknowledged in the, in the published data or the published article. In conclusion, with the aid of HPC and a mathematical approach such as normal mode analysis, we were able to disclose key allosteric sites in, time, in a timely manner. These sites can be targeted for future anti-malaria drug design and development, which therefore accelerated the process of our approach and increased our research productivity. With that, I end my talk and thank you for listening.